A man in southwest Florida on a mission to protect dogs and people from a potentially dangerous species of toad. They're called cane toads. And as Kaplan Brian Lopez reports, the man has killed hundreds of them at his home in Naples. A Naples man is on a mission to protect residents and pets from a potential harm in his community. Lee Smith said this all started when he and his wife went to bed one night and they couldn't sleep because of loud noises made outside their home. The sound came from cane toads, an invasive species that harms pets and people. Smith says he's killed hundreds of them over the years near his home in Naples. He says that in just 15 minutes, he'd catch up to 30 to 40 toads in his backyard. And I thought, I'm just going to go out there and see if I can catch them. I thought, this is a good way to get rid of cane toads, just get out and catch them. Lee would walk along his pond looking for cane toads at least four times a week, and then he would execute them, but not because he wanted to. So how exactly does Smith kill these toads? It's the refrigerator to first sort of numb them, and then they go to the freezer. And then where do they go? They go in the dumpster and to waste management. <laughs> According to Dave Feenan from the Human Society of Naples, cane toads are also very dangerous to our pets. They emit a toxin when the dog bites it or licks it, and, and uh, it's very dangerous. Smith says he's happy, though, making sure he's protecting his community and their dogs. And his wife, Denise, feels the same way. It's nice because I can sleep at night because I don't have to hear them. Smith's hobby continues to grow. He says two years ago he caught about 700 cane toads, and last year he captured more than 1,000. Reporting for Kaplan News, I'm Brian Lopez.